Bokse dit? Ja. Ja? Ja. 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 Come closer, dear guests, and take a good look. There was a mother with two children. The children were always distracted, playing around on their phones, not watching their steps even one bit. It happened then then one of them stumbled over some dirty clothes the other one had mindlessly thrown on the floor. He fell and knocked over the mother's vase. The vase was the mother's most treasured possession and the only nice piece of furniture the mother had ever owned. When the mother saw what her children had done, she got incredibly upset. In fact, she got so upset that she locked herself in the kitchen and sat at the open window, crying out of anger and frustration. Sitting there, sobbing, was when Cuckoo saw her. Cuckoo flew over to her, and the mother, surprised but happy about the unannounced guest, made her tea with milk and two sugars, as crowds usually drink them. During the conversation that followed, Cuckoo convinced the mother that it was time to punish her children for all the wrongdoing and the troubles they had caused her. Cuckoo thought about what would be a good punishment for the little brats as she went off to quickly fetch some food from her home for dinner. When she arrived at her nest, a horrid scenery presented itself to her. Someone had plundered her carefully collected dinner supplies and left nothing behind. She noticed that the thief left a little trail. Following the trail led her to the hideout of a familiar family of Albert. Albert was one of the most pesky critters living in Cuckoo's neighborhood and a constant bother to her and the other residents. This time he went too far though. Cuckoo swore to herself that she would make him pay for this and just like that she got an idea that could kill two birds with one stone. After hours in the kitchen, the mother finally brings the prepared meal to the table you know it's ready? The mother proclaimed. I made a fat, nice rat. The children let out a murmur of approval. The mother has put quite some effort into cooking the meal properly. The body has been roasting in the oven for hours. And the belly has gotten a nice, crunchy crust. Taking a big, sharp kitchen knife, the mother stabs the bloated body, slowly opening up the neatly prepared remains. Cuckoo is sitting in the corner of the room, her beak forming a menacing smile, watching the events unfold attentively. The mother, having opened the body, now takes out the cooked intestines and serves them to the children. They instantly start eating without taking even a single look at the food. Their minds are somewhere different, lost in the deep void of cyberspace. <laughs> you can hear an evil little snickering approaching as Cuckoo moves closer to the scene in order to get a better look. She hasn't eaten yet and her belly is rumbling with hunger. She jabs her beak in the open body to get a little taste as well. The children, meanwhile, actually seem to be enjoying the meal quite a bit. Cuckoo takes another jab at the body, picking open the stomach and exposing the half-processed food inside. The food she had carefully collected herself from the streets. What she didn't know is that food was put there by some inhabitants of the neighborhood and not all of benevolence. No, not all of benevolence at all. The food Albert had stolen out of Cuckoo's nest was poisoned. After eating, Albert already had started to process the poisoned food before the mother had found him and murdered him. By that time, the poison had spread through his body and his organs that were now themselves in the bellies of the kids, slowly being processed by the digestive systems. Of course, Cuckoo also had eaten from his enemy's remain, and in turn also absorbed the poison into her system. The children's heads and limbs are getting tired, 
as the poison spreads through their bodies and does its work. Slowly, they fade away from consciousness and maybe into the cyber world that had consumed them while they were still alive. Cuckoo, however, had eaten directly out of Arvid's stomach and thus taken a lot more of the poison. She's trying to fly away, but her wings stop moving, so she falls. She dies in pain and agony, regretting the excessive revenge plan she had executed on her former enemy. Well, kids, that's the story of my death. Let it be a lesson for you. <laughs>